Good afternoon. Uh, we're back at the Florida Medical Cannabis Conference and Exposition, and I'm here with Bob. Uh, I'm not even going to try to tell you what his company <laughs> does, uh, but it actually relates not only to the cannabis business, but also to the healthcare business. Uh, and the product that he has, and we've gone through a demonstration with him, uh, it's something you need to know about if you're uh, looking into uh, interior uh, well-being of products. So, uh, Bob, welcome to the Canvas News Thank you, thank Center. you for having and, me. And uh, tell us a little bit about what you do and, uh, and your product. Our product is based on ultraviolet... Oh, name of the company. Let's oh, we are Sanyavox. We are a company that's been in business since 1996, and we are one of the largest manufacturers of products to eliminate powdery mildew indoors for indoor grows. Um, we're heavily concentrated in California, um, the, the Northwest, Colorado, and all over Canada. But your product could also be used in a any kind of interior. We were of. we were at we actually started in '96 in the air purification market. Mm -hmm. um, I actually started. I actually was a contractor back then, and I found this company by researching UVC. People were trying to sell these stick lights that just go across the ductwork right. as air purification, and I knew they didn't work. That scientifically they could not work, and I found this company Sanuvox, who in '96. Um, patented a technology that's now recommended by ASHRAE. Um, they stick the L, they stick UVC parallel with airflow, so biological contaminants have a longer time to be in, mm. in sight of them, which allows the DNA or the RNA to be destroyed. Uh, we make residential products, commercial products, healthcare products. Um, actually, in in 2001, when the anthrax scare started, um, the federal government tested our products on anthrax. Um, they tested it in a real-world application, and we were actually recommended by the Homeland uh, Department of Homeland Security and the EPA to fight anthrax Seriously, in 2006. Right. We we're, um, we're one of the few companies in the world that can do it. Well, how does that work as far as I can understand from the, the indoor grows, mm -hmm. uh, which you're dealing with a lot with the cannabis industry? Because everybody is grown indoor, at least in the state of Florida. In What we do with cannabis, first of all with cannabis, you don't want any ozone produced to go out into the grow area. Um, the reason for that is ozone decreases the strength of the terpenes. Um, we do, we, what we do is through, through ventilation, mm. where, and you're always blowing air across the, off the grow room, right. so everything's airborne. Through the ventilation system, we're sucking in all those contaminants, and as they go past our, our bulbs, our lamps inside the ductwork, it destroys the RNA and DNA of all those biological contaminants. Um, we've literally seen a 95% reduction in um in in powdery mildew so in, in, in kind of layman terms you're basically sanitizing the air. we are sanitizing purifying, we are purifying and sanitizing, sanitizing the air. The air. Yeah, i don't mean to be so technical about right, it right. so <laughs> so tell me so from a from a from i understand the grow now let's kind of let me switch hats here okay. and i'll put on my uh my south florida hospital hat so tell me about the hospitals have gone through and will continue to go through a variety of challenges when it comes to air quality within hospitals and airborne diseases. So tell me a little bit how your product would work within a hospital setting. Um, we are heavily used in the hospital um, setting for both surface disinfection and air disinfection. Um, we utilize UVC technology for both. Okay. Um, and it's installed the same way it would be installed in your home mm -hmm. or installed in a, in a cannabis grow. We're, we're, we're trying to treat everything that's in the air. Um, when you have an air conditioning or heating system, you have certain air changes, which mm -hmm. means the air goes through your system so many times. Right. Mm -hmm. So we we like. They also to, say, well, we, I guess part of it is a, what's the per minute circulation of, or, of air. Yeah. yeah. Mostly we're going by how many air changes per hour. Right. I'm mm -hmm. in a resident in a house in, or a commercial application. It's usually six to eight. Gotcha. In a cannabis grow, it's usually eight to twelve. So we want those mold spores going through and going through and going constantly through. going through. Constantly so we're life, so right. we're destroying them. Um, a lot of people have been trying to use especially down here in Florida, a lot of guys are using devices that create ozone to eliminate the, 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 um, the powdery milk. Mm -hmm. um, those devices that create ozone to drastically reduce the strength of the terpenes. Really? Yes. Um, and that's, that's the main difference between our products and the other products that are being utilized is we create no ozone in the, in the, in the growing space, so we don't do anything to the detriment of the plant. If anything, we make sure that we're maximizing terpene strengths, which maximizes your medical benefit. So how does that, from from the standpoint of the state of Florida, so you, you're saying that without this, 
you have the possibility of not getting a good quality product. You're going to by reduce the quality. You're going to reduce the quality of your product by using anything that creates ozone. Okay. And um, there's some technologies called photocatalytic, photocatalytic oxidation. Mm -hmm. That that's how they operate. Is they're creating ozone to go out mm -hmm. and, and combat things. So so you're so you're able to basically. Uh, purify air within almost any any situation. Any home, business, any hospital, any healthcare, any closed living space, anything that's in, enclosed in a building, we can we can make it safe. Um, I have a I have a one job down in South Florida in Miami, that's actually a, a um, it's a women's shelter that houses 500 sure. women. Mm -hmm. um, we started installing products in there last summer, and. Their infection rate, they had 500 women. Mm -hmm. They had about three or four people get sick. They're in the middle mm -hmm. of Overtown, Miami, where you had 30 to 40% of the people getting sick. Right. So that just shows you the, 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 the efficacy of our product. So, 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 so if somebody's watching this and they're saying, okay, I have uh, this air conditioning, air conditioning and heating system, mm -hmm. could you go into almost any heating and air conditioning system to be able to make this work? Yes. Any, any system that has duct work, we can make it work. Okay, so this goes, does it, does it attach onto the main, what I would call we have, system, or it goes into the duct? We have some self-contained units, which um, we have different levels of self-contained sure, uh -huh. units. Some, some are just UVC for air purification. Some, in fact, one of our units is actually a, a recommended by the CDC for schools, but it's good for offices and anything else that includes HEPA filtration and our air purification products. But on a standard air purification product, the installation procedure is basically cutting a rectangular hole in the ductwork, mm -hmm. placing the unit inside that rectangular hole, screwing it in, and plugging in our, our unit. So the, you could go from area to area. If you did, if you felt one area was more of a problem, with you, that one you, you can throw a self-contained that area. Um, we do that a lot in nursing homes. Mm -hmm. we, in addition to air purification product, we give them the portable units. And if they do have anyone getting sick, not just from COVID now, Right, right. Anything, the, right. Anything, anything that's airborne, we should stick an extra unit in there. So when they expel out of their lungs and spread the germs, they get brought into the unit rather than spread throughout the room. And you can pre purify that unit. That would be great. We can, and, right. Yes. Well, again, if you're watching this and you're watching it from the uh, Cannabis News website or actually kind of switching in and coming in from the Hospital News website, if you need information on Bob and want to talk to him more about maybe your system, uh, anywhere within a home, within a business, uh, cannabis business, healthcare business. Bob, how to get hold of you? Um, our website is Sanuvox, S A N U V O X dot com. Um, you can reach me personally in Florida. Um, I'm, I live in Port St. Lucie, and you can call my phone, 267 315 0700. Um, or you can get, get through to me at our website. Right, and if you can't remember all that, you can't write it down. Just email me and I'll get you Bob's information. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me.